Good afternoon, class. In today's video, what I'd like to do is to go over experiment number four in the quarter, th quarter three lab, um, lab series. So in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hydrochloric acid and I'm going to mix it with some, so some sodium hydroxide over here. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, but this, is, this one's going to be a little bit more of a colorful lab because what I've got in here is this thing called phenolphthalein. And what it does is it detects the presence of an acid. So, um, quick guesses from everybody. If this, is going to be a, if this is going to be a different color, what color do you think this phenolphthalein will, will turn when I, when I put in the hydrochloric acid? Blue. Yellow. Okay, I hear yellow. Blue. 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 Over there. Red. Red. Purple. Okay. So let me know, um, and again, li leave a comment about who said which one. All right, so let's see what happens when we add our indicator. We got our indicator in here, and let's see what happens. Okay. So as you can see, Nothing happened because right now it's got an indicator and a base. So what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing in some of the acid in there. And what you'll start to see is that there is a reaction going on because the indicator is indicating, um, well, the indicator is telling you that there is some acid, there's the presence of an acid. And that's why it's turned. And so in the presence of an acid, it turns pink. Notice I did this a little bit slower because as you can see, you've got some, the, the pink color didn't actually last all that long. It noticed, and it's notice it's starting to turn, maybe I'll hold it over here. Notice that it's starting to turn a little bit white over here. So one of the reasons why this happens is because this reaction of hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide gives you not only, um, it, gives you, it gives you salt, plus water. That's the end, end product of this. So it's a, it's a fairly neutral, re the, the, the end result is salt water, in, in essence. I still wouldn't drink this because it's very, very dangerous because it depends, it, it would be safe if, the, if these, these chemicals were in the exact amounts that were able, so that everything reacted completely. But I don't know, I can't be 100% sure of that, so I'm not gonna try and drink this because I wanna be, I wanna be a little bit safe. Also, if you'll see that there's some there is still some acid at the bottom because the, the, the phenolphthalein has actually stayed over there. So what that's telling you is that all of this that's going on and everything that's going on here is not completely reacting. I'd probably have to shake this a little bit more to get this, to get this going. So I thought I'd demonstrate that for everybody. That is what, would, what the experiment four should look like. So study hard. I'll see you guys in the next video.